next case in the next case um, here we have a 27 year old patient who visits the dentist and uh, he complains of sore gums okay he is slightly unwell and he has a raised body temperature he is medically well and uh, has been a smoker of approximately 15 cigarettes in a day since he was 16 years old and um, next we see on examination you find that he has lymphadenopathy his gingiva is apply is uh, appearing red and swollen and uh, there are some ulcerations with a grayish slough which was particularly seen in the palatal gingiva in the upper teeth and you also find halitosis so these are the findings now when we have to come to a, a diagnosis the confusion will be between two lesions which is herpetic gingivostomatitis and the other one is ana so here in this particular case after careful consideration of all the clinical findings you come to a diagnosis of acute herpetic gingivostomatitis now you guys will be probably um, wondering why not ana so here the diagnosis is uh, acute herpetic gingivostomatitis and uh, the treatment would be he'll be asked to take anti-inflammatory drugs uh, maintain the fluid intake take a lot of rest and um, yeah so you would ask me why not anak so uh, what you need to know is when you uh, his age group first of all is you know um, age group for acute herpetic gingivostomatitis please refer to the notes it's not only adolescents sometimes you know early early 20s it's possible and you should also remember that acute herpetic gingivostomatitis is extremely common but anag is increasingly uncommon in in people whose systemic health is all right so in this particular patient i told you guys that there was no medical history so when the systemic health is sorry when systemic health is all fine and if he systemically healthy then anag is uncommon also you should remember the areas so anag is more common in your interdental papilla whereas in herpetic infections you will have areas such as labial buccal palatal mucosa and also the dorsum of the tongue so here you saw it in the palatal gingiva so that was another hint another thing that you have to remember is the systemic conditions or systemic symptoms of pyrexia which is fever and malaise and all that is seen more pronounced in herpetic infection rather than in anag and the most uh, characteristic sign of your anag is the ulceration in the gingival margin and especially in your interdental papilla and you will have it you will have punched out papilla punched out papilla is the classic sign of anag and so these all these uh, signs point out towards acute herpetic gingivostomatitis rather than anag so this is the